The question says an electron is accelerated by a constant electric field at a magnitude of 315 newtons per coulomb. Find the acceleration of the electron, and b, use the equation of motion with constant acceleration to find the electron's speed after 9.5 times 10 to the negative 19th seconds, assuming it starts from rest. So the first thing it asks us for is the acceleration, and it tells us, it gives us ingredients for uh, the finding the force. And so, um, just automatically, I'm thinking force equals mass times acceleration. But I don't know the force or the acceleration. I can look up the mass, the mass of an electron. So the mass of an electron is equal to uh, 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. And I want it in kilograms because newtons is, is in uh, units of kilograms per uh, kilograms times meters per second squared. So in order to find the force, I need another equation for force. And since it gives me the electric field, I'm automatically thinking that force is equal to Q times the charge times the electric field. Well, it gives me the electric field in the problem, and I know the charge on an electron. It can be looked up. So Q sub E is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So now all I have to do is substitute. Q, sub, uh, Q times E, so I get Q times E equals MA, and I just divide by the mass of the electron to get the acceleration, so acceleration is equal to the charge times the electric field divided by the mass. So you go ahead and plug in your numbers, so the, the uh, charge 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th, 315 newtons per coulomb is the electric field, and the mass is uh, 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31. You should get that the acceleration is approximately 5.53 times 10 to the positive 13th. So it's going, the acceleration is several magnitudes of meters per second squared. Then it says to use the, use the equations for constant acceleration. Well, constant acceleration is uh, basically it's, is the equation that says the acceleration is equal to the change of velocity over time, which is equal to V final minus V initial divided by time. And so in order, we can go ahead and cross out that middleman. Acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So we want to solve for final velocity. We get the uh, acceleration times time plus the initial velocity is equal to the final velocity. The equation tells us the initial velocity is zero, or the question does, so we know the final velocity is equal to acceleration times time. We just solved our acceleration. We said it's 5.53 times 10 to the positive 13th. It gives us the time as 9.5, so 9.5 times 10 to the negative 9th. We're going to multiply that by 5.53 times 10 to the positive 13th. So kind of my, uh, my simple way of doing it is this is almost 10 and this is almost 5. So 10 times 5 is about 50. And then we take 13 minus 9, it's 10 to the 4th. So approximately 50 times 10 to the 4th is going to be your answer, which is going to be like 500,000. Um, so that should be your approximate answer. Plug that in your calculator, and you should get 5255576. To 898 meters per second, and that's after just a fraction of a second. It's going 525,000 meters per second, or or you could say 5,000 kilometers per second.